Welcome back, it's Jerry with Sky Management here again. I would like to give you some wonderful money-saving advice that we use here in the apartment industry to handle all of our outside weed spraying and grass killing needs. Now for you at your own personal house, I know everybody has been talking about inflation, the cost of things going up. Why is stuff so much more expensive? Well, it is. Everything's getting more expensive. If you've got a personal home, and you've got multifamily properties, now you can take that, that simple cost of what's associated with your personal home and expand it out times however many units you've got, and you can quickly see that that inflation really adds up. Now, for weed and grass killers at your own personal home, most homeowners are going to go out to Lowe's or Home Depot, Menards, or a, some other kind of a home improvement warehouse and buy themselves some weed and grass killer, maybe it comes in a little spray bottle like this to go hit around their house, uh, these are great, they're handy, they're super lightweight, but they are expensive because you're paying for the packaging and you're paying for the little squirter. So if you have a little larger yard, some people will upgrade and go ahead and get a larger container of weed killer and they can use this stuff in these gallon jugs that have the automatic sprayer uh, because again, you're paying for the sprayer, you're paying for the name, you're paying for the jug. Uh, again, pre-mixed, you have to keep your eye on the labels, make sure that you know what's in there. Typically, about a 1% glyphosate will be plenty to kill any weeds or grass. And if you are looking at the products like a Roundup type product, they will usually have between one. Sometimes the super control ones will have like 2% glyphosate premixed in those bottles. But if you're looking to save some money, which is what we do in the apartment business, and we're here to save you money, is you're either going to want to go out and buy yourself some Roundup concentrated mix. Now this particular one, which we'll put a link down below, has got, I know you can't see it, but 18% glyphosate in it. So this one little half gallon jug will actually fill 10 gallons when you mix it with water. You mix it in here in this little cup. This particular brand, you mix six ounces, which is this entire little red cup, into a gallon of water, and it'll make about 10 gallons worth of mix. Now you can buy this for about $37, so it makes it about $3.70 a gallon, which is a lot cheaper than if you were to go out and buy these jugs at about 20 bucks a piece, uh, you can quickly see that you're getting a lot more value for your money. If you are unlike myself or you are like us in the apartments and you have big time acreage that you're needing to spray, now we're gonna be talking about getting yourself some different kinds of sprayers. This little handheld sprayer works great if you're gonna go around an apartment and spray for bugs, but if you're looking to hit some weeds or hit some grass, you're gonna to wanna to up your game and spend a little money and get some better sprayers. Now we've got two different kinds of sprayers that we use for quick jobs uh, to run around. We've got the typical little two gallon sprayer and we can mix up concentrate in this. You can either use some uh, bug type concentrate in this, making sure of course you label your, label your containers. You can get that concentrate from do-it-yourself pest control. And we can put a link down below to how to get the whole do-it-yourself pest control and you can order pest control needs from that. But for your weed killer, you're gonna mix up your appropriate amount of weed killer in this and you can go around and these are operated by a pump spit system where you twist this top and then you put it on the ground and just pump it. And you're gonna pump it several times until you get an appropriate pressure built up and then you've got the wand that you can spray and adjust to go around and spray your weeds. But after doing dozens or hundreds of apartments, uh uh, your arms are gonna be tired, you're gonna feel like they're falling off. So, what we prefer over any of the others that we've found is the Roundup Backpack Sprayer. Now, we didn't use one of these for a long time, I was kind of skeptical, but we did go out and we bought one. And after we bought one, we went back and bought several more because this holds four gallons, which is a lot more uh, product in here. But to simply unscrew this cap, you mix it in the top, and then to pump it, you carry it on your back, like a backpack, so you're not carrying all the weight in your hands, your hands free. You've got your wand to pump it, you've got this other hand like this. So as you're walking around spraying, you're not having to worry about, you're not having to worry about, you know, putting it down, lifting it up, carrying it. If you need to pick something up, pick up trash, whatever else you need to do, keep it in a trash bag. And you can be pumping it as you spray. So again, larger capacity, it's easier on your arms because you don't have to carry that in your hand. Uh, the sprayer is very ergonomical, it's easy to hold, it's an angled spray tip on it, you can adjust the tip as well. So would highly recommend this, I'll put a link to this one down below because it's definitely what we use. But any of these options are great, you just need to make sure you're mixing up the correct mix and you're using the correct product for the job and you can save money and get the job done right.
Thanks for watching. I'm Jerry with Sky Management. We'll see you next time.